Hey boys and girls, it's Craig and I'm here to share a book review with you. Uh, Y'all remember those books that we buy for, for babies that have uh, cardboard pages and ways that the kids can interact with the book? Well, I have one of those here and uh, unfortunately I don't have any little kids around to uh, share it with and so I'm going to share it with you. This is a book called Computer Engineering for Babies. And it's one of those interactive cardboard books. It's by Chase Roberts, and it's very good. Okay, so here we have a wire, and you can see that the, the uh, button is connected by a wire to a light bulb. And if we push the button, the light bulb comes on. That's how a wire and a switch and a light bulb work. Next, we have a NOT gate. And the way a NOT gate works is that it inverts the signal. So when the button is NOT pushed, the light is on. When we push the button, the light turns off. That's a NOT gate. Next, things get a little more complicated. We now have two buttons. This is an OR gate. What do you suppose an OR gate does? Well, OR means if I push one button or the other, I bet that light's going to come on. Yep, there it is. Or if I push this one, it comes on. Or I can push both of them and the light comes on. That's an OR gate. Next up, we have AND. Now you saw how the OR button, the OR gate worked. The AND gate must mean that I have to push both buttons at the same time. If this button and this button are pressed, then the light will come on. So I'm going to do them both at the same time, and sure enough, the light comes on. If I just do one of them, it won't work. All right, things get tricky here. It's exclusive OR, XOR. And we saw OR before, where you could press one or the other or both, and we'd see the light come on. Exclusive OR, let's see what happens. We push one button, the light comes on. We push the other button, the light comes on. But if we push both buttons at the same time, the light does not come on. Because it's exclusive OR, it has to be one or the other, but not both. All right, and on the last page, you have your final exam. This is a drawing for a latch. And we see we have an OR gate, we have an AND gate, we have a NOT, and we have all these wires. And we've learned what all those things do. And so the question is, what's going to happen when I press the SET button and when I press the RESET button, which is the one on top, What's going to happen in that drawing? Well, I'm not going to spoil the end of the book for you by telling you you'll have to figure that out on your own. And you can get this book and maybe have a baby explain it to you. Computer Engineering for Babies, Chase Roberts. Great little book. I don't know where to get them. I got it as part of supporting a Kickstarter project. So this book reminds me back in the 70s, there was a comedian called Father Guido Sarducci, and one of his bits he did was to do a five-minute university. And he would teach you in five minutes everything you would remember five years after you were out of college. And uh, this book, I took computer engineering. It was not for babies, but I took the class when I was in college, and this book pretty much sums up everything that I remember about it now some 40 years later. So, Computer Engineering for Babies, great book. Get yourself a baby, get yourself one of these books, and learn all about logic circuits.